There's a story that's passed down in the Soloveitchik Mishpocha. Reb Chaim Velozhener, the ancestor of the Soloveitchik family, was at the bar mitzvah of a great-grandchild. And it was during Shal Shudas, and he was talking about the, the odyssey of Torah. Torah went from Eretz Yisrael to, to Bovel, to North Africa, to Spain, and so on. And each country became a stancia, a resting place, an ill, a mo, an inn, a motel for Torah. And somebody asked him, which will be the last stancia of Torah before Mashiach comes? And he said, the last stancia of Torah will be America. And then he burst into tears. And everybody was shocked because he was not known to be an emotional person. Why was he crying? Later on, somebody from the family asked him, why did you cry? And he said, it's true. America will be the last stancia of Torah. But who knows how many millions of Jews will become farfallen, will fall by the wayside before America becomes a stancia of Torah. In this week's parsha, Yaakov and his family are coming to Mitzrayim. And as Yehuda Shalach Lafon of Goishlo, he sent Yehuda before to prepare the way in Goishen. And what was he preparing? As Chazal tell us, to prepare a yeshiva. Yaakov knew we're coming into Golis. It'll be a hard, hard Golis. But before we go into Golis, we have to prepare a stancia of Torah. And you know, in Mitzrayim, 210 years in Mitzrayim, many, many Jews did fall by the wayside. But because that preparation of Torah was made as the precondition, as the preparation for the Golos, Klal Yisrael was able to survive and leave Mitzrayim and go to Arsinai.